Okay, so welcome to Trust the Process. Uh, in this video, we'll be answering question 1B of Trust 1, PHY 1 of 2. The question reads, A light string of an extended length of 14.2 cm is suspended vertically from a fixed point, as illustrated below. A mass of weight 3.8 newtons is hung from the spring as shown above since it's supposed to be below the length of the spring is now 16.3 centimeters so these are the these are the diagrams we are talking about yeah, the first one is here that is the second one and then we have the third one there so the length this is the undisturbed length of the spring and then when the mass of 3.8 newtons is hung the length becomes 16.3 centimeters an additional force of f is then used to extend the spring so that its length becomes 17.8 centimeters so as you can see here uh, the spring in its natural state which is the undisturbed or unextended state it is having the length of 14.2 centimeters of which when you convert this one to uh, meters you are just going to have 14.2 times 10 to the power negative 2 meters because we know that cent is nothing but times 10 to the power negative 2 same applies to this one. This one is also going to be uh, 16.3 times 10 to the power negative 2 meters. Then this will be 17.8 times 10 to the power negative 2 meters. Like that. Okay. So, ideally, the first question for the is saying, show that the spring constant of the spring is 1.8 newtons per meter show that the spring constant of the spring is 1.8 newtons per meter so uh we have we have three diagrams here we have the first one when the spring is in its natural state we have the second one when the spring has been extended by eyeing the mass of 3.8 newtons then we have the third one when the spring has been extended to this length when there is a combination of a mass which is 3.8 and a force of unknown value so finding or showing that the spring constant of the spring is that 1.8 newtons per meter all you need to do is to find the spring constant so they are indirectly asking you to find and just compare so if this is the value that you're going to find then you've shown that is how you show so now how do you find the spring constant so considering this diagram if you were to draw the free body diagram of this system diagram number two diagram number two here what you have is the moment you put what happens is when you extend a spring and let go of it, it will try to go back to its natural position. That is the case. So this implies that for this diagram here, what we have is a mass is there. We have a mass. I'm going to represent it by inch using a dot here. That is going to be our mass. So if this is our mass, then we have... We have... Uh, the downward force and this downward force we know it's mg and the upward force because there is a spring we know there is going to be a force wanting to restore this object or the spring to its original length which is 14.2 so we are going to have a spring force s there so the spring force is going up this system by the way it is going to be static the system isn't going to be moving hence we, we know that acceleration here is equal to zero so this is the free body diagram at this point 
at that point you come and see the free body diagram there is just going to be an additional force downward so according to second newton's law we know that summation of forces acting on an object summation of forces acting on an object so summation of forces here acting on that object should be equal to mass times the acceleration of that object so we don't have any motion in the y-axis as you can see the spring was suspended vertically and in the uh, y-axis here the acceleration is going to be equal to zero why is acceleration equal to zero because as this object hangs there will be no motion so here we are going to say the forces that we have we have the upward force which is the spring force in this case hence this is going to be positive and we have the downward force which is the mg the weight of the the mass which is the negative in this case and then this should be equal to zero because acceleration is going to be equal to zero so when this goes that side you are going to have the spring force or restoring force is equal to mg now the restoring force we know it's the magnitude of the restoring force is just kx so we have k x is equal to mg of which our k is going to be equal to mg over x now this k is the spring constant or the stiffness of the spring and then m is the mass g is acceleration due to gravity and then x is going to be the extension it can either be the extension or the compression but in this case as you can see clearly here the spring is going to be extended so how do you find this x because we don't have the mass but we have mg the weight has been given to be 3.8 in the question as you can see here we have the weight to be 3.8 which is here and then how do you find this extension so the extension you are going to have the final length the final length meaning after the mass has been hung so extension here x which is the extension is going to be found by the final length here we have uh, 16.3 minus the initial length which is the 14.2 so when you subtract that this is going to be your value which is in centimeters okay so if you want to get the answer in meters you are expected to you are expected to use 14.2 times 10 to the negative 2 as well as 16.3 times uh, times 10 to the power negative 2 so our k our k the value of k is just going to be so we have k is equal to the weight is 3.8 newtons and then the extension in centimeters is going to be because 16.3 minus 14.2 is nothing but 2.1 centimeters so the value that you have here isn't supposed to be newtons per meter instead it's supposed to be newtons per centimeter so there was an error in this question just the answer that you are showing so you can only obtain this answer if you use the extension in centimeters and not meters if you use the extension in meters the value is going to be different from this one so the spring constant is going to be 1.8 newtons per centimeter this is the, how it was supposed to be initially okay and then that's it you're done so this question had an error instead of uh, newton per meter you're supposed to have newton per centimeters hope that is clear so for the rest of the questions I believe you're supposed to use the spring constant in newton per meter so it is very important for you to also punch in the spring constant in 
newton per meter so a newton per meter you are going to use the same weight but the extension here is going to be in meters of which you can just say 3.8 newtons divided by 2.1 times 10 to the power negative 2 that is going to be the expansion in what in meters okay now let's go to the other question the other question is showing that is asking you to show so there is a scenario here the scenario is that for the extension of the spring from the length of 16.3 centimeters which is the diagram 2 to a length of 17.8 centimeters diagram 3 calculate the change in the gravitational potential energy of the mass calculate the change in the gravitational potential energy of the mass on the spring so don't get things mixed up here all they are asking you to do is to calculate the change in the gravitational potential energy between this point and that point of the mass so the emphasis has to be calculate the change in the gravitational potential energy of the mass so of the mass here we are not going to consider this force this additional force all we are considering is the mass just the mass clearly you can see that the mass is going to have a changing gravitational potential energy for it is changing in the height it's more like this mass is dropping if you put it in that sense initially it has covered the height of 16.3 centimeters finally it has covered the height of 17.8 centimeters so what you have here is this what you have is you have uh, the mass which is covering this height 0.3 centimeters so this is the mass then you have again here where it has covered 17.8 centimeters okay so what they want you to find is the change in the gravitational potential energy so we know that that the change in the gravitational potential energy can be there if there is a change in height so the change in height is there this change in height clearly you can see that the change in height will be found by the final height is 17.8 minus the initial height is 16.3 so the change in height clearly it is going to be 1.5 when you punch in that into your calculators to 1.5 centimeters of which in meters this is just 1.5 times 10 to the power negative 2 meters but when you punch in this value uh, in your calculators it will give you something like uh, 0 0.0 0 0.0 five meters this is what you're going to get all right now if that is the change in height how do you find the change in gravitational potential energy the change in gravitational potential energy is just equal to mg change in what in height so this is uh, the mass of the this is the weight of the mass you don't have the mass but you have the weight of that mass this is the mass they're talking about and in the question you've been given the weight of this mass to be 3.8 newtons so you are going to say 3.8 multiply by since this is newton and for you to get joules as the si unit for gravitational potential energy the other units or the other quantities should also be in their SI units. So this is Newtons. The height isn't going to be 15 centimeters. No, we are going to use the change in height, which is in meters. So that is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2. When you punch in that, I believe you are going to get something like uh, 0.057 joules as uh, your answer 
okay that has to be direct